so let's proceed for the next we are having src folder that is known as source folder which holds the logic for the web parts and it contains all the artifacts which is being used within the web part and if you will see it over here there is another subfolder that is called lab 02 uwps so this is the same name which we have provided while creating the solution now before going into further discussion i wanted to show the output of this particular web part so guys this is the output of the web part which we have generated through the boilerplate code and over here you will see that all this information well done mukesh engine the apps is running on local environment so from where it is coming so let's look into that so guys all that information is coming from lab 02 uwps webpart.ts file this is very important file whatever you want to create within the web part you need to provide those logic into this file now here you will see that there is a function called render function and within the render function you will see that we are writing the logic in the boilerplate code all the logic is being written and that is what it is coming into that particular web page over here you will see that it is written well done and then there is a context and that context is it is retrieving with the help of this particular notation that is dotted notation it is getting the information about the users logged in currently so the logged in user is me and my display name is Mukesh Ranjan that is what it is displaying over there now see here it is written over here well done Mukesh Ranjan and that is coming from the same file next we are having scss file all the styling into that particular web part is coming from this particular file next we are having the file called manifest.json this contains the metadata information so what kind of metadata it has so it holds the information about where do this particular web part can be deployed so you can allow those places over here inside the supported host then you will find that other detail like which group it belongs to group id that is group id guid over here then what is the title if you want to change the name of the title name of the web part you can come over here you can change it over here then if you want to specify other description you can change it over here now the next property we are having that office fabric icon font name so this property is nothing but a image or say icon which you are seeing for the web part and that is what it is referring over here you are getting the page icon so let me show that so if you come over here and if you go again and if you click on this plus icon then you will find that this is the page icon and that is what it is referring so that property will be used to specify the icon name what icon you want to use for this particular web part and that is what it is referring next it holds the properties over here so this is the name for the context of that particular web part that i will show you now so if you come over here and if you click on this particular edit icon then you will find that the name so this is what that property is representing that is property description and if you specify another description over here that is what it will display there and we have another folder called loc so this folder is basically for localization if you want to support multiple language with this particular web part you can introduce different kind of language currently it is supported only us language english us and that is what it contains if you want to introduce a spanish language you can introduce over here then we are having assets so these are the sum of the images which is being kept over here if you want to use other images for this particular web part you can use it over here and if you remember this image we are having this image in our web part and this is what we are seeing in our web part this is the same image which is existing inside the assets folder now next we are having another folder called teams so this particular team folder holds the information or say holds the configuration for the teams related configuration that we will see in our upcoming session so we have covered most of the important aspect of this particular solution structure there is another file called gulffile.js which holds the information about the gulp utility so this file we very rarely touch whenever if you want to extend some of the functionality of the gulp then in that scenario we touch this particular file for this particular course we are going to majorly focus upon the src folder so on this note i am stopping over here see in the next session Till then, bye-bye, take care.